I think the University of Illinois has a wonderful reputation. Um, the programs that we offer are well thought out. Um, I know we have a number of programs out there across the country dealing with bilingual ESL. Online versions are popping up every minute. But I can honestly say what we offer is qualitatively different. So we have a course, um, CNI 433, Foundations of Bilingual and ESL um, Instruction. And really what it does for many students, for all students, is that it provides you with a broad stroke of why do we even have bilingual and ESL education in this country? Is it something new? Because if you really um, talk to the average person off the street, you would think it's a relatively new endeavor. Dealing with language speakers, that it's a relatively new endeavor. And what that course does is to look at the historical element of it. Right now, it's, it's um, catered to educators, I would say, broadly. So um, with changes in our laws and everything else, it means um, administrators who in the past weren't held accountable for having this kind of knowledge are now being asked to, to know something about this. So it certainly will meet their needs. Um, obviously, the classroom teacher, but also those individuals wishing to uh, become professors, do research in this field, many of them will start with these courses just to give them the lay of the land and then work toward more theoretical kind of courses um, that are perhaps a bit more removed from daily practice but now gets into the research end of it. Um, so it can meet a variety of different needs. So you see how, from our very beginning, we had issues of language that we were dealing with and why our policies were set the way that they were and how they've evolved over time. What were some of the issues that led to those evolutions and changes? Um, and where we are, and we take it right up to where we are today. Um, and along the way, students are asked to really think critically about things and to look for patterns. Because after a while, we start realizing nothing's really new. <laughs> in terms of the conversation itself, that we've been having this conversation for a very long time in this country.